Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As Isabel and I mentioned last video, today we are reviewing some hot sauces that you can't buy. Sorry, so if that's gonna piss you off, you should just, bye, we'll see you later. You can come back for the next video. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Izzy's really excited for these because these are the last of my hot sauces from my friend Mo. We've got some vanilla bean ice cream to try these on after we've had the initial sauces because this one's a dessert sauce. It is apple and cherry based. This one's fall spice. It's carrot based, but it's still going to be pretty sweet. I think it'll go well with the, mm -hmm. with the ice cream. And then this one is mango lemon lime. Mm -hmm. So I think they're still all vinegar based, but you can make pretty sweet dessert type sauces that are vinegar based. Mm -hmm. And of course the vinegar helps them keep longer, be more shelf stable. Yeah. Okay, which one do you want to try first? Um, I want to try fall spice because I think that's going to be the least sweet of them. I don't know, carrots are pretty sweet. I smelled it and it didn't Oh, did you? You cheated? Well, I wasn't cheating, I was just curious. I always remove the stoppers. It's so annoying when hot sauces do that. I know. Oftentimes they're really great sauces because they have that nice thickness to mm -hmm. them. But it does annoy me every single time. So sometimes if I open a thin sauce and it doesn't have that, I almost rate it higher because <laughs> I'm less irritated. <laughs> yeah. I know that's probably the wrong way to review hot sauces, but I'm just being honest that I'm a little biased. Okay. Oh, it happened again. Of course, should be able to get it out. It definitely smells like vinegar, and yep. I can smell the fall spice. Can I get it? I'm hoping I can just knock it out. It's like a carrot puree. <laughs> it's like baby food. You got it? Mm-hmm. It's just gonna all come rushing out. I know! Like a Heinz ketchup bottle. Just No! Sorry. I shouldn't curse you with that. <laughs> it's still stuck. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's try it. That's really good. It is. Really gets the side of the tongues because the vinegar. Mm -hmm. But I like the consistency. It does remind me a lot of baby food, but I don't mind that. I'm actually a super lazy eater a lot of the times. I love foods that you don't really have to chew. So I quite Applesauce. Applesauce, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese. Yeah. But the fall spice is the perfect amount. Sometimes when people are using those spices, I feel like they use a little too much. Mm. But it's a good balance. For me, I think it could use more. I mean, really, my taste buds are burned from using so much nutmeg in all of my baking and rosemary. Those are my two favorite things to put in baked goods because it just it just makes it taste like interesting, like ooh wow, yeah type thing. Um, even putting that in like chocolate chip cookies, so good. Um, so yeah, like I it could use a little more nutmeg, but. I like it. Okay. I definitely can taste the nutmeg, so that's nice. Mm hmm Did you want to try more? Is that why it's yes, open? Yes, I want oh, to try more. Okay. Well, you know we're going to have it on ice cream, too. Yes. And I think that actually will go very well. There we go. There you go. Yeah, it's not overly salted or anything, so it's pretty bright. Oh, yeah. That's a nice, that's a nice pour. Lovely color, as, as usual. Most sauces always have a lovely color. This one has like a stranger color because it is a dessert sauce. I, mm -hmm. I believe it's a lot of blueberries is what I'm going to go ahead and guess. Uh, cherry and apple. Oh, it's Charles. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely a different color. It's kind of like a grayish purple, if you can see. Um, mm -hmm. But it is still very pretty. Which one do you want to try next? Mango lime. I want to save the dessert because I'm interested. Okay. About what this one makes dessert and not the Because it is ones. specifically a dessert sauce, yeah. Mm -hmm. This one looks less viscous. Ooh, it doesn't have the booger. Nice. Yeah, these two are a bit thinner than the carrot sauce, mm -hmm. I think. Oh yeah, that's just gonna come out. <laughs> okay. Gotta be careful. Be careful. Yeah, nice color. 
Ooh, you can really smell the lemon. That's gonna be awesome. Mmm. Okay. I have a weird thing with lemon desserts. I'm fine with lime and specifically lemons. So let's hope this doesn't taste like specifically lemon curd. All right, fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. Oh, that is tart. That is tart. I like it. It does not taste like lemon curd. That is gonna be good on ice cream. Ice cream as well. Ooh. There's a little more heat to this mm -hmm. one. This one, I didn't really sense any heat, but this one definitely has some there. Yeah. I'm gonna let the dogs in, hold on. And I have no idea what peppers are in these because Mo doesn't tell me that on the cheat sheet. <laughs> He's not selling them, so he doesn't have to disclose. Uh-uh. Ooh, yeah, that's still burning. And you took a nice big spoonful. Oh, well, I mean, it was still really good. Oh, it smells strange. Strange? Strange. I don't like that. It's not bad. It's just not... It's strange. That's the best way for me to put it. Hmm. Let me smell it again with the thing off. It doesn't smell like anything now. I smell the cherries. Alright. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that's a nice thin one. Probably the thinnest of the three. I know that we didn't set them up in how spicy they are, but the fact that it ended up being not so spicy to spicy, I'm afraid to try this one, but... That's good. It There's is, no but it beat. is odd. Well, he did say it was a dessert sauce. Not that you can't have a hot dessert sauce, but... Yeah. I like it, but... It is odd. I'm confused. <laughs> Me too. Like, I can't quite tell what spices are in there. I can't place anything. Nutmeg. Maybe... Oh, I was thinking that was cinnamon. Nutmeg cinnamon. This one de definitely tastes like nutmeg, but... I eat a lot of nutmeg, so I believe there's nutmeg in this. You might just think that they're because it's cinnamon and apples, which... No, because I eat a lot of specifically nutmeg on a okay. lot of different things. All right, well, we gotta try it on ice cream, for sure. Which is now super melted. <laughs> That's not terrible. Do you want the blue or the green? Green. Yes, we have adorable little ice cream shaped serving dishes for this. Okay, let's try, well, let's go back um, in opposite order. I need oh. a little bit of ice cream. The second sauce is still burning my mouth. I have no idea what he put in there. Maybe habaneros? That's mm. tasty ice cream. Mm -hmm. All right, so you wanna go in the same order trying the sauces and mm -mm. you wanna go back? I'm backwards. Backwards, okay. So I wanna one. understand this one. This, okay. I think with something else it might make more sense. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the way we're doing this, you might end up with uh, a little bit of crossover with the sauces. That's but... fine. They're all tasty. Ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good on ice cream. Oh, that's amazing. I really like it. It's really weird, guys. I, I don't know how to explain it other than it's kind of strange but delicious. Yeah, and the cherries are quite tart. Mm -hmm. So it works really well with the creaminess of the ice cream. Mm -hmm. It's not an overly sweet sauce, but it's definitely not a savory one either. It reminds me of this one trifold that my friend made for our cast party. Mm. She put like lemon cake bits all in it and then just regular whipped cream. It was super tart and like it's kind of like Huh, this is like tart and creamy, so it's like kind of weird, but it's really good. I love a trifle. I used to make trifles all the time growing up. I don't know why I've never made one for you. Next source. Okay, let me shake This it. one is spicy, so I'm gonna try not to pour <laughs> as much as I do. Yeah, it's definitely hot. Ooh, girl. 
That looks really tasty. That looks like you I like put the, like a marmalade on there. I like the color of it on the on the cream. Oh, sorry. I want to try just a little bit. Okay. Have a nice scoop. Mmm. Yep. Oh, that pairs really well. I love lemon and ice cream though. What's interesting about this sauce though, <coughs> is I don't really taste the mango. <coughs> I don't. Also, it went down the wrong pipe, oh, or no. it had a weird afterburn effect. I cannot tell. Yeah, I don't know. I love the idea of it, but um, all I can really taste is the lemon. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's creamier because there's the mango in there, but it definitely overpowers it. Mm -hmm. You doing okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, my voice sounds weird now, though. It does. They hit a wrong spot. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm loving the lemon. Yeah. Or Full spice. This Full one's spice. thick. You go first. You know what this would be really good on? <clears throat> hmm. Um, it's like a cinnamon cake. Oh, yeah. I would like the two of those together. Yeah, like um, a coffee cake. Mm-hmm. That'd be really good mixed into coffee cake batter, honestly. I hope it bodes well with ice cream. I'm sure it will. I mean, it's just carrots and spices. Yep. And carrot cake is a thing, so. It is curdling the ice cream, though. Is it really? Yeah, it's curdling mine. Hmm, huh, mine's not. If you see, like. Uh, no? Yeah, it was doing a weird, like, uh, effect. Huh. Like, it was definitely bringing out little curdles out of the ice cream. Hmm, huh. okay. I can't see that. Did Cheers. You? Yeah. Mm, mm hmm. That's, that's nice. Mm, mm-hmm. I like it. It's definitely pretty good. What was your favorite? <clears throat> the lemon mango. Me too. I'm, I'm gonna put more of that on the hair. Yeah. <coughs> I have a lot left because I tried to make sure that I have more left over for whichever sauce was my favorite. Whoa! I'm gonna have taste She's going time. for it, man. That's always the problem when I open any of those sauces, is they go really quick. <clears throat> <clears throat> and then you're just sad. <coughs> it really Ooh. makes me call. That's interesting. I've never seen anything do that to you, really. Like, other than, like, a challenge. Yeah. Um, it's not even, like, that spicy where it, like, makes me cough because it's, like, a challenge level spicy. It just, it hits me that weird way. But it's, it's so tasty, I can't stop. It might be because the acidity of the lemon. Oh, I forgot that I think I'm allergic to mango. Whatever. I'll be you fine. should post on your community how you're feeling after this. We'll see. I haven't had it in a while because I had a horrible allergic reaction a few years ago to a mango jalapeno margarita. Mm -hmm. And I could never figure out what it was. But obviously I'm not allergic to jalapenos. I eat those all the time. Mm -hmm. And I used to eat mango a lot as a kid, but I don't really as much as an adult because it's kind of expensive. It's like a luxury fruit. And then... Last time I had like a piece of dried mango, my hands got really itchy. Yep. Alright. Well, hopefully it's more lemon than mango. It sure tastes like it. But, um... Yeah, this is really good pairing. I love Mo's sauces so much. They are so good. Well, I think he was like honestly getting irritated with me because it took me so long to review all the sauces. But again, I spread them out because I really enjoy them. And because there's always a couple of people that complain about me reviewing things they can't buy. <clears throat> but they're very much appreciated, Mo. I hope you see this. I'll, I'll email you. 
And these hold up really well because these are all from peppers from his 2020 garden. Persimmon so they're milk. aged like a fine <laughs> fine wine. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. So we both decided that the mango lemons are favorite. Yes. This one is so weird, but really but good. It's so food. tasty on so food. Good. I gotta put it a second best. Yeah, I'm torn between these two, but since we're eating on ice cream, like obviously the dessert sauce was amazing. Um, and perfect. But the fall spice uh, is so good. That's gonna get eaten really quickly as well. Um, <clears throat> obviously, this one's the hottest. I'd give it probably a five out of ten. Actually, for heat level, it's pretty spicy. Yeah, like yeah. I can still feel it, and I was eating it on creamy sugar, so. Yeah. Um, but absolutely amazing. Now you have some more hot sauces to I eat. I do. And, and you have lots of vanilla ice cream. Mm-hmm. And still, unfortunately for me, because the persimmon sauce is gone, it's still my favorite of most hot sauces. And maybe my favorite hot sauce of all time. Oh man. Tugging at the heartstrings. Well, maybe we can find a different persimmon sauce. I don't know. I don't know if I can beat Mo. Probably not. His stuff's really fresh. It's you can so tell. good. Like you can tell it's from the garden. Like the lemon <laughs> one. Like it tastes like straight up like lemon juice. Like you are hit with that, and it just it tastes so fresh. All of it. All of them just taste so fresh. With that, I am Katie Prettyman at the World's Okayest Competitive Eater. This is Isabel, and uh, we'll see you next time. Let's try that again. <laughs> yeah. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.